Well, we're home from Vegas. It was a lot of fun. Happy to be home. And now vacation's over. Gotta clean up. So let's get this fixed. Okay, I think this is a good start. So let's address tomorrow. Not a shower. A lot more manageable anyway. Okay, folks, we are back home. This guy is not going to be nice to me, I think. <laughs> let's see how much damage we did uh, in Vegas. And let's see how long it takes for us to get back on track. So it was 287, I think, or two, 287 or 288 or something like that. Just a more time. Boom. One more time. All right, 295.4. Yeet, boy. <laughs> okay, so the weighing is in. As you've seen, I am up over eight pounds, eight and a half pounds or something like that. It's crazy, eh? it goes fast. Even with all that walking, um, and okay, so do I think I actually put on weight down there calorie-wise? Did I really go over my 3,500, or actually 2,500 calories per day, plus, plus, plus? The answer would be yes. Not every day, <clears throat> but there's definitely some days where I didn't do the math, or there's some days I did the math and I know I went over, but there's other days where I have no idea what the math is. So I'll give you an example. There was one day, where I sat down and I had uh, my chicken burger and fries. It's, it was evaluated at 1,400 calories, but I ate two-thirds. And I skipped almost all the fries, right? So so maybe that was closer to 850 or something like that, you know? Um, so then I'm like, okay, so uh, roughly that much. And then I had another meal that was roughly 600 calories. So I'm, I'm saying about 1,500 but then I got that huge slushy that had rum in it, the pina colada. It's a massive, massive thing. I have no idea how many calories were in there. There could very well be 1,500 calories just in that alone, making me bust my calories. Um, but that's okay. I already told you guys about this, and I'm okay uh, with this. And it's funny because my wife, who uh, she's also a foodie like I am, but she has this amazing control, whether she's on vacation or not doesn't matter to her uh she so she, she i mean i know she lost a ton of weight <laughs> while she was down there because she was still eating salads or uh, if she was eating some bad stuff she wouldn't finish her plate at all so uh yeah so she did very well but for me i just can't do it and i, I don't like to do like i do here i i feel like i need that treat to just let loose and i do and I do, and you guys have seen it. So up eight and a half pounds. Uh, am I worried? Am I disappointed? No, no, no. I knew this was coming. I didn't think it would be quite eight, eight and a half pounds, but it doesn't matter. It's all the same at the end of the day. Um, I, I give myself three days, all right? Three days to get things back on track, to get back to 287. I hope three days should cut it. I think so, uh, because it's going to be an intense three days. I'm not saying I'm going to fast for three days. No, I, I don't want to lose my mind either. And already that I am starving. It's just past eight o'clock. I am so hungry because normally I don't eat breakfast, right? Well, not on vacation. We eat breakfast. I was eating chicken burgers for breakfast. So um, I, I, I'm starving right now. I'm not going to eat. So I think what it's going to be today, at the very least, I think my plan is going to be... Um, Maybe I'll take a because we have some bananas that are going bad. So maybe I'll, for lunch I'll have my my peanut butter and banana sandwich with uh, my fake bread stuff. That's about three hundred calories. And then for dinner I'm gonna have one of the pizzas, my mom's pizzas that she made. I still have some frozen. That's about five fifty. So today should be around eight fifty, and that's it. And a ton of water, by the way. I need to get back on that water. Uh, because first off, in Vegas, I was barely pooping ever, barely. Uh, Ninety percent of that stuff feels like it's still in my system, and uh, I was urinating dark yellow all week. So my hydration is 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 no good. I gotta fix. I, that's these are all the things I need to fix over the next three days. And I think my diet's probably gonna be 
about that the next three days. So today, today, like I said, I'm going to go with that sandwich, get rid of one of those bananas. Uh, tomorrow I'm back at work. I think, I, I think I'm in town the next two days. I hope so, which means coffee in the morning, shake at lunch and very, very light dinner. I it might even still be another pizza. I might do that for two, three days. Get, get, go past all those pizzas. Just the idea is I want to get sub 1000 or even sub 1200 calories just for three days. And then we'll go right back up to our 12 to 1500 calories after that. I just need to get it all out and I don't want to do like I did last time I think I spoke about this uh, in Niagara Falls where I had a, a week just like I just had now had a lot of fun went all out but then I lost the next two months by struggling to lose weight after that because good days bad days oh, I messed up here no no okay if you want to have those vacations like that and be a foodie this is the test we're gonna see now did I learn from my last lesson am I able to force myself and hate myself for the next three days because it's there's nothing fun about this. The losing the the all that weight and recutting and 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 all the sacrifice food wise, I should say, um, that I'm gonna have to do to get back on track to where I was, it's no fun, right? But this is what I suggest to everybody. When you start Sigzenda, if you restart Sigzenda, give yourself three solid days of eating like a bird just to get your stomach where it needs to be so that whenever you do eat 12 to 1500 calories, you're going to be full. You'll be full and you'll be fine. And then, and at that, at 12 to 1500 calories, no matter how you cut it, you're going to be losing weight, right? It doesn't matter how you did it. You can have six donuts and nothing else that day. Who cares? 1500 calories. I mean, you're not going to be happy about it. You're, you're going to miss, you'd be missing vitamins and all that stuff, minerals. But, uh, but you know, the idea at, at this point, if you're, uh, obese i don't even look into the macros and all that just just stay under your calories we'll worry we'll worry about that stuff later so uh so yeah i'm i'm happy to be home i'm happy that it's not snowing or freezing so it was a good transition to get back home and uh <clears throat> and yeah now i'm at the bakers for the kids uh, so they got the bakery stuff and i get to watch the meat and not eat but i've got stuff to do anyways so uh, I got to start prepping for next week, see what's going on. And uh, yeah, get all my clothes ready, the whole shebang. And then it's going to be kind of a crappy fit. Some of my new clothes I bought is kind of a perfect fit at 287. So at 295 for the next day or two, might be a little tight. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess that's it for me. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was a great vacation. Uh, it was one that we... Well, it's hard to say. I, I want to say one that I needed, but I've been having a lot of vacation lately, so I guess I shouldn't quite say that. But it was a very appreciated vacation time alone with my wife and I. I think it's very important. It's good for the relationship. And uh, and what a finish. Again, the, that Adele finish just kind of blew our minds. And that car, that was fun. So, uh, yeah, back to normal life, guys. So back to the normal vlogs, too. And uh, all right, let's see how quickly I can lose this. Like I said, three days. I want to see 287. Is that going to work? I have no idea. We're gonna we're gonna find out together. <laughs> all right, bye everybody. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to say this. Um, what's my next goal now? Okay, well, first off, obviously, get back to my the way I was. But my what I am aim, what I'm aiming for is for my own Christmas present to myself is to see the 270s by Christmas. That's where we're heading. And then for my New Year's resolution, it'll probably be to be hitting 230 next year. So it's exciting. Can't wait to see how it goes.